next Thursday night at 7.40, the lady vanishes. Yeah, Jim, can you tell me if the night train to Bath is running on time tonight? No, for your military. How do you speak English? I'll shoot you! Tell me, I still have. Why don't we go and see if the dining car is open? A nice cup of tea will help to settle your poor tummy. And on the way, we'll stop in the washroom and wash it off. Oh. Anyway, we came back to the compartment, and I went to sleep. Pass and... out. Shut up, swine. And when I woke up, she was gone. The Lady Vanishes, next Thursday night at 20 to 8 on ITV. Out with Survivor, Japan, Modern Romance, and the Battle Stars, Hot Chocolate, Tight Fit, Blondie, and Toto Coelho, AC Fantasy, Yazoo, Boys Town Band. Breakout from Ronco with 22 wild tracks on one album, and you get a great breakout color poster. Free. Woke up this morning, I was blue down to my toes. Had the shivers and the shakes, even had a blue nose. Then my woman done told me I could install gas central heat for only 60p a day. That's right. Just add 60p a day to your mortgage, and you can install gas central heating right away. Called up my installer, now my window blues have gone away. Bye-bye, blues. Say goodbye to the window blues with gas central heating. Two hundred and fifty of the world's finest brains have been bringing their knowledge into thousands of homes with joy of knowledge. Week by week, it has provided essential reference material for homework and school projects. Now, in response to great demand, joy of knowledge is made available once more. Give your children this visually stunning encyclopedia. Give them joy of knowledge. Part one, out now. You got it right. Are you looking for replacement windows and doors? Think Needham's. Superb quality windows and doors in brilliant white UPVC and aluminium. Think Needham's. A wide range of styles, excellent fitting service, and prices that are right for you. Think Needham's. Telephone Loughborough 213142 or Leicester 810065. My name is Bomb. Brooke Bomb. We was expecting you, Mr. Bond. Cherry and Crampet, and a message from London Brook. We must all safeguard the secret, the secret that ensures that nothing beats the taste of PG tips. Look, Brook, he's got a gun. Oh, hand over the secret, Bond. Hold that. I talk to the British. That porter chappy got ideas about his station. The Blade Runner. He's tracking a manufactured human. The deadliest weapon technology ever created. Harrison Ford is the Blade Runner. At a cinema near you from Sunday, Certificate AA. See local press for details. This November, the most exciting television event for 25 years. Channel 4. A unique opportunity for new advertisers to take advantage of the most powerful medium in the world. Television.
find out what it could do for your sales. Ring your Channel 4 sales team now. Well, there's plenty of entertainment tomorrow night here on Central, starting at 7 o'clock with Jimmy Tarbuck and another edition of Winner Takes All. Then at 8.30, comedy with Neris Hughes and Derek Nimmo in third time lucky. And then at 9 o'clock, it's welcome back to an old favourite. That's uh, Shine On Harvey Moon, new series starting tomorrow night at 9. Let's see how the whole evening looks. <laughs> Scotland loses 3,000 Trident missile jobs to America. The TUC applauds the nurses. The government doesn't budge. The chief gunman in Bern was a former communist spy. The QE2 is still stuck. Her passengers can't wait. And Sebco may have glandular fever. He's out of the Commonwealth Games. Good evening. The government are scrapping plans for a £500 million Trident nuclear missile service base at Coolport on the Clyde. Instead, the missiles will be serviced at an American Navy base at Kings Bay in Georgia. 1,500 construction jobs planned for the mid-1980s at Coolport will be lost, and another 1,500 existing jobs will be phased out by the mid-1990s. The switch to Georgia seems to contradict Mr John Knott's statement in March that the Coolport plans would go ahead. Mr Hugh Wiper, the General Secretary of the Transport and General Workers' Union in Scotland, said, it takes work away from Britain and provides work for Americans and we pay for it. Our industrial editor, Giles Smith, reports. If the original decision to replace Polaris with the American Trident was controversial, today's decision seems likely to be almost as much so. One of Mr Knott's justifications for spending seven and a half billion pounds on the system at the time was that a lot of the work might be done by British firms. Now at least 3,000 potential jobs in the 90s have disappeared. And the irony is that the anti-nuclear groups who campaigned against the base, including some Scottish trade unionists, have seen the jobs go, but the warheads for these missiles will still be on their doorsteps because it's only the missiles that will be serviced in America.